<laughs> it dies. Are you ready to have fun and tell some jokes? Yeah. Let's do it. So I was wondering, should we do a serious interview like a robot? Or should we do a silly and goofy interview with a lot of fun and laughter? Hmm. Hmm. Serious. Okay. I will be serious. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, but I will do it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? I am serious robot Chris. I'm good. Do you like being friends with a robot? Uh, yeah. Can I be goofy now? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, it was tough to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <man. laughs> I like that your shirt says happy. Are you a happy person? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Chicken. Chicken who? Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Did you make that up? Yeah. That's a really good joke. I love that joke. Oh, your socks smell good. <laughs> if somebody wants to be your friend, what should they say to you? Hmm. Say hi. What will you say if somebody comes and says hi? Hmm. I will say hi back. That's, that's a great answer. <laughs> Does making friends make you happy? Yeah. When you make a new friend, what would you want to do with them? Play with them. What kind of games? Lava Monster. What is Lava Monster? Lava Monster, like you have to be the Lava Monster and they come and chase you and they get you. If you had to introduce Harper to the world, what would you say? Um, the first thing that comes to mind is um, she's a seven-year-old girl with a very spunky, <laughs> outgoing personality and, and full of life. <laughs> Does Harper laugh a lot? Yes, all the time. <laughs> she's the life of the party. Yep, definitely. <laughs> As you can tell, <laughs> it doesn't take much for her to giggle. <laughs> Do you like telling jokes? Yeah. Isn't it fun being silly? Yeah. If you have a friend who feels sad, what would you say to them? I will be you, um, I will be your friend. That is very kind of you. Yep. You are a really nice person. Mm-hmm. Let's do a celebration dance. Do you like to be close to your mom? Mm-hmm. How do you feel when you're close to your mom? Thumbs up. Has she always been that way? Yeah, I think, yeah, she, she, she has. Um, and she's also a daddy's girl. She, she loves her daddy. Yeah, but I think, too, we, we spend so much time together. Like, I take care, I do all her cares for her. Um, and we spend, we spend a lot of time with her. Or I spend a lot of time with her, so, yeah. Is it okay if I ask you and your mom questions about ichthyosis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is ichthyosis? Ichthyosis is a very rare genetic skin condition. Um, and they say that harlequin ichthyosis, um, that Harper's like the 20th living in the, in the U.S. with it. So that's how rare it is. Has your mom taught you a lot about ichthyosis? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes. we, we talk about it. Um, not like super in depth. She doesn't ask a lot of questions about it yet. Um, but she, I mean, she knows that we have a really rigorous um, routine. Like we take three hour showers a day. So, um, which is a lot. Why is that necessary? Uh, because her skin, she makes skin 10 times faster than you and I do. So her, she's over, her skin's overproducing. So um, her skin starts to get dry and she gets uncomfortable and scratches and itches and which can cause infections. So the showers really keep her hydrated and comfortable, so that's why we do it. What grade are you in? Kindergarten. What is it like to be in kindergarten? Um, you get to do, like, we, like, do some c cutting, and we do math, and we do, 
um, we do some centers. Ooh, centers. What is your favorite thing to do in kindergarten? We, and my favorite is um, we get to, um, hmm, we get to have snacks. Right now our skin looks great, but like, you know, in an hour or so, this will all be, it will be dry. It will be dry Even skin. Even my foot. Right yes, here. and your feet. Her feet get really dry. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, the showers just, it um, just exfoliate her skin off and then it just hydrates right her skin. And there. then we put lots of Aquaphor on. We go through like a jar of Aquaphor like every two days. Yeah, she's missing that protein that we have in our skin that, so her Ooh, body just, it, it keeps trying to, up. keeps over producing Ooh, skin. Yeah. Um, doesn't have that protein to stop. Would you rather have a million dollars or five good friends? Um, <laughs> five million dollars. What would you do with it all? I will buy a car and TV. A TV? Okay, <laughs> where are we going in the car? We're gonna go to Walmart. What are we gonna get at Walmart? We're going to get pillows. What are we going to do with the pillows? We're going to have a pillow fight. You also said you're going to get a TV. Yes. What are we going to watch on the TV that you we're bought with your $5 watch, million? We're going to watch Clifford. Clifford, the big red dog? Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but doesn't Clifford always go, meow? No. Oh, I remember. Clifford goes, ribbit, ribbit. No. Ribbit, ribbit. No. Oh, I remember now. Clifford goes, caw -caw! No! Caw -caw! Caw -caw! Caw -caw! Caw -caw! No! Oh, Clifford. He's the one who goes, waddle, waddle. No. Waddle, waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. No! No! Okay. Clifford must be the one who goes, woof, woof. Woof, yes. woof. That one? Why do you like Clifford? I think it's natural for um, when kids see something that's different to have curiosity or questions. If for you sure. could provide a statement or two that kids could hear when they first meet Harper, what would it be? That she's just like them. So she looks different and her skin might be red, but she's just like them. She's just like everybody else. She just has different skin. And I always, when I always tell kids when they come up and approach us, I always tell them, I said, see, look, we all have different skin, because we do, like, they'll put their arms out, Mike, see, every single one of us has different skin. We all look different, God made us all different. Um, I just feel like that she's just like every other kid. And that's, that's you know, that's what, we want her to live a life like every other kid. Just because she looks different doesn't mean she is different. What do you want to be when you're an adult? Hmm, I want to have a car. Where will you drive? <laughs> to McDonald's. <laughs> what are you going to get at McDonald's? A sushi and a Big Mac. <laughs> are you going to go every day? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think you'll get sick of it after a while? No. What do you think your mom would say if you told her, I'm going to have McDonald's for every meal? She would say, no. What would you say back to her? Yes. What would she say then? No. What would you say back to her? Yes. Then what would she say? No. Then what would she say? Yes. Then what would she say? No. Then what would she say? No. Then what would she say? Yes. No. 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 Yes. <laughs> What's the best thing about laughing? I don't know. Do you feel happier or sad when you laugh? Happier. Do you like being happy? Yeah. Does the world seem better when you're happy? Yeah. Does everything seem grand when you're happy? Yeah. Do you think there's anything you've done to ensure her joy? Just reassure her that, you know what, she's just like every other kid. You know, she might look different, but she's like every other kid. And, um, and I really think that modeling too has helped a lot with her confidence and being in front of the camera. and and having people, you know, stare at you and look at you and she's, you know, being Harper. You, so. you mentioned her modeling. Can you go into more detail about that? What does she do? Um, so she signed a, um, a contract just this last year. She's um, done three campaigns, one with Costco. Now I heard you like to do modeling. Yeah. I've been working on my modeling. 
<laughs> Could I show you one of my modeling poses and you can tell me if it's good or bad? Yes. Okay. I'm going to pose for the camera. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Is it good, right? <laughs> That's not good? Okay, what, can, what, what should I improve? How should I model? You should... Should I open my eyes more? <laughs> no. Should I close my eyes? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. What should I do? Smile. <laughs> Is that good? That big. No. Like this. You're a natural. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for teaching me. Yeah. Do you have any other tips to be a good model? That I know of. I think that's all I need to do is smile, right? Walk. Walk? Like this? Yeah, like this. Does your family make you happy? Yeah. How do they make you happy? By giving me um a treat. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of treat do you hope your family gives you? Um, bubble gum tape. She's a spunky seven-year-old kid who loves sports, loves, definitely loves football. Um, she's an animal lover. She, she welcomes everybody. She's like the life of the party. Um, she, she knows no stranger, which I love about her because I feel like when I was growing up, I was so different. I was so timid and shy and scared. And I feel like she's the complete opposite. And I just love that even though she has this condition and looks different, she's still, like you said, she's vibrant, she's joyful, she smiles, she makes everyone feel seen, she makes everyone feel comfortable, um, and she always welcomes you with a smile. She doesn't make you, she doesn't make anyone else feel different, which I love that about her. I asked you a bunch of questions. Do you have any questions for me? You could ask me anything in the world. Hmm, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. My favorite color is also teal. Teal is an awesome color. Yeah. Do you, have, do you have any more questions for me? Yeah, I got a good one. What's your favorite color in the rainbow besides blue? That is a really good question. My favorite color on the rainbow besides blue is yellow. My favorite besides blue would probably be purple. That is a really good answer. Yeah. Do you have any other questions for me? Uh, no. Okay, thank you for doing the interview.